So what is up guys and in today's video I have a very special guest for you, my girlfriend. Hi, I'm Maloba and Molov is going to be teaching me how to edit today. So what is your background with editing? I've used CapCut. Oh, you've never used After Effects before. This is going to be all very new for me. I'll teach her for the first time and we'll see hopefully she can make good edit. <laughs> So we chose to do the edit on Suki from Avatar. Why did we choose Suki from Avatar? Because she's iconic and I love her. Exactly. So let's get started. First of all, as you can see here, you, you have your preview where you can see the edit. And here, this is the timeline where you can see all your clips and the audios as well. And you can move them around like this. Just drag them and move them up and down. And whatever is on top is what you're going to see on the preview. Right. And you can also just drag the time indicator to change where you're looking at so let's get started by marking the bits so first of all we need to know when the bits are so you go to your song mm -hmm. and to see the audio you can press L twice and as you can see this is the audio waves and now you can scroll around you can see that you have these little like things mm -hmm. some of them might not be bits you kind of have to also listen this one here to mark it you can press ctrl alt x perfect so where's the next bit perfect yes you're doing it <laughs> she marked all the bits as you can see which means we are ready to choose the clips so first of all we'll choose the intro so we already had something in mind which is the part where suki captures the warden of the prison what do you think we need to do to make it in the beginning is this the clip here? yeah this is the clip. okay okay so i'm looking for where she's about to see so looking down i feel like that's the right place okay yeah that sounds good so to cut it yeah you press alt and on this square bucket thing and it cuts square everything bracket. to the left the other yeah. side that would cut everything to the right alt open bracket yes and then i'm gonna drag that to the first marker is the first beat drop which is yes. the end of the intro yeah so i want it to be before that there okay. we okay, go wait, let's perfect see that <laughs> <laughs> so now that we have the intro so we're gonna move that all the way up all the way up here yes okay, okay. and then go to where the drop happens yeah yes and cut everything to the right perfect so now i have a bunch more subti clips and we're gonna look around and choose which one we'll use for the edit falling dreaming, dreaming talking, talking. In your sleep, I know you want to cry all night. Okay, that sounds good. She just get whacked, but we'll ignore that part. <laughs> <laughs> she pretty immediately gets taken down. Okay, but if we but don't we'll show ignore that, that. we just edit. won't show that part. So it's fine. We're writing our own story. So now we have all our clips selected, as you can see, and we'll start by twixtering. So do you know what twixtering is? Chocolate bar. <laughs> Maybe, but twixtering is an effect that helps you slow mo clips. So it takes frames that computer generates the frames in between the frames cool. so we'll be using that first thing we need to do is choose where you want to start it so I like where i've set them all to start this yeah now you need to make sure that we have only moving frames so you can see these two frames are the same mm -hmm. they don't move so we want to remove that okay you cut it now you see how it's moving right after yeah and twister so makes it like up to the next beat Yes, we, because it's slow motion, you can choose how long you want the clip to be. So to twixter it, you want to first select all the clips that you want to twixter. And now we need to do something that is called pre-comping. Okay. So to do that, you press Control shift c Control shift c And now it opens this thing, press OK, and now we can add twixter. So to add any effects, press Control space to open the effects console. I have my Twixter, so you can just click that and then it'll edit. Now, what you need to do for Twixter is change the out FPS to the FPS of the clips. Okay. And now to finish the Twixtering, we wanna pre-comp it again. Pre-comp it again. So it's, I select it. Draw show C. And now, it's, now we can time remap it. To open the time remapping, you press Control Alt T. Control Alt T. So you can see it open time remap. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then you drag the diamond. You wanna actually use the last frame. So making you keyframe there right there 
Yes. Drag this one over that one. Drag this we, one over. Yes, because we don't want that one. And then drag this one to the end of the clip. There. No, one before. So now cut it. Perfect. Now that we have both of our keyframes, what we can do is graph our timeline mapping. So to graph it, Mm -hmm. You want to select both of the keyframes. So okay. you can just drag over and select both of them and then press F9. F9. Now that right there, there's a graph icon. Now you can see it opens the graph <laughs> and you can drag and move around the graph. Now the graph kind of like my Over the X axis, you have the time of the clip. And then over the Y axis, you have the value. So the value here is the time remapping. Right. So you can make certain parts faster and certain parts exactly. slower. Exactly. So right? if you want to make it fast, you would make the graph tall. Now, what would this look like? We just played that. Like, would it be fast at the start or slow? Slow at the start, faster in the middle, slow at the end. Right. A lot of the time when we tweak cell, we want fast at the beginning and at the end. So how would you do that graph? Yes, exactly. Oh, I see. Pull this one down. Perfect. Okay. And now you can see... Oh, that's so cool. Now we're just going to be twixting all the rest of the clips. Okay. And we'll get back to you. Okay, so we just finished doing the twixting on all the clips. And this is what we have so far. What do we think? Excellent. Eh? <laughs> and now the next part is transitions. So to make it transitions, first of all, you need to think what transition we want to do. Let's zoom in. Yeah. So what we need to do is add nulls. To add nulls, you just go here and press add. Add. And now we want two though, right? Because we have two transitions. Mm -hmm. So add another one. Add. Now for the transitions, press S. You can see it open scale here. Now you want to put a keyframe at the end of the clip. At the end of this clip? Yeah. There. There. Keyframe. And... Press on the stopwatch. And then as you can see, it adds a diamond. Oh, I there. see. Okay. And then you go to the beginning. And now you can change the value. So like so 80. So less. And so now you have both keyframes. But what's the problem with this? The outside's all black. Right. So to fix that, we need to add an effect called motion tile. Okay. So now it doesn't do anything. What you want to change is the output width and height so as you can see it mirrors the clip right. on the sides press on mirror edges and then it mirrors that like oh. the opposite so for the transition itself as you can see it's very slow how would you make them move faster changing like the graph yes you would drag it, a line up more and then so select, select them. both the keyframes and then apply okay Sweet. so we have the first transition now for the second one uh what do you think will okay it was like this the fans are circular can we just what do you yeah. if s opens scale what R. would rotation be try it. perfect so you can see now it opened rotation for the second transition you want to have the first keyframe around the middle of the clip and then go to the end and change it and over. we want it to be that way yep you don't want, want it to be too be... much now mm -hmm. what, what do we do this we want to make sure like. that it's quicker at the beginning the or beginning. if it's out so it's quicker at the end no you need to click twice on the uh, plan yeah okay perfect let's see to make it smoother you won't blur on it so to add that you click on these like little circle things it enables motion blur also need to apply to every clip that you want motion blur on so where do you see another circle thing mm -hmm. here yes and then next to it does all these tick boxes you have to choose all of them yes yeah so you can see how it added motion blur mm -hmm. so this is what it does just makes it smoother when you transition like that and then but why is there no motion blur here you might ask so what you actually want to do for only for the second transition is make sure that the keyframe at the end is actually past the clip i see so now as you can see there's motion blur on both to make the transition for this one what transition would we do or the, the same, same way thing, right make the nose first add no and now go to the end of the first one and then rotation so r and then i want to make keyframe. a keyframe here okay and then, and then i want to the beginning the same problem we need to add right um, to this the mirroring effect oh and then here we have motion tile yes and Control then you can c copy it paste. and then this is the one yes and while you add it you can also select the rest of this and add it to okay. them now we have motion tile on all of them now what we need to do with the keyframes graph yeah yes one that's faster b. at the beginning right like that let's see that's like really quick. Make it slower here. Move that one down, right? This is slower. This is good, you think? Yeah. And now you want to change this one as well? Mm, yeah, let's change that one as well. Nice. Sweet. I think now we'll do the rest of these. We'll get back to you for effects and last couple of things. We just finished the transitions and this is what it looks like so far. Mm -hmm. 
pretty nice. With that being said, we'll try to add like one or two effects or just two really basic ones. So one of them is ghost invert thing. <laughs> I don't think it has like an actual name. Add effects, we want to go inside the pre -com. So You want to have another one of these clips. So you duplicate it. Which... Control C, Control V. Now you want to add invert on this one. So okay, how do okay. I do that? Text console. You want to add one that is called S invert creation and can just make that zero to make it black and white. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly zero. Exactly zero. <laughs> okay, thank you. So <laughs> now you can see it's inverted. Okay. We want it to kind of go towards us. How do we do that? Um, Scale. Right. And then keyframe it right here at the start. Yeah. Okay. And then go to the end and keyframe it so it goes closer to us. Okay. And then keyframe it so it's closer to us. Yeah. Not too much. There. Okay. Whatever you think. And now you want to fade it out. So for that, you add opacity. It's <laughs> just T. Keyframe at the end and the beginning as well. The start, then, it's 100. Yeah, sure. So keyframe it. And then you want to fade it out. So at the end, you want to make it zero. And now look what it looks like. See? You've definitely seen that before on like TikTok. You want to graph it. Probably quick at the beginning. Yeah. So let's see what this looks like. Okay. No, that's a bit fast, no? Yeah. Uh, I'm applying it to the scale. Yeah. And now for the opacity, you do want it to start a little bit fast, but also you still want it to be able to see it at the end, at least a little bit. So how would you do that? The opposite. Right. And then, and then like still be able to see it at the end. So yeah, there. maybe a bit less and then see what this looks like. That is pretty cool. So we have one effect done. And now I think we'll add an effect called CC Light Rays. To add CC Light Rays, you use something called an adjustment layer. So to add one, you can just right click and then new and then adjustment layer. Perfect. Okay. Now you can add CC Light Rays on it. Is that an effect? Yep. And, and now then... this is where your light ray is. You can see you can drag it around. You can oh, see kind of that's so cool. So you can, like, you want to move it to where you want it to be at the beginning of the clip. Move it to where I want it to be at the beginning of the clip. Okay, so there. And, and then go to the end. And then go to the end. Perfect. Okay, and, and now then... let's see what this looks like. That's cool. With that done, we'll just add shakes. So shakes, you also add on an adjustment layer. New adjustment layer. Perfect. And then... And now we'll use Twitch. So add Twitch to enable and click on the arrow. And then press on slide. So cut it to where it's the beginning of the clip. Right there. Yeah. Now, so you already have a shake now. We can see too much. It's too Way long. too much shake, yeah. To change that, you need to keyframe the amount. So, so that's basically how much it shakes. The beginning. So go to around the middle of the clip. And then... Make it zero. Make it zero. So you want it to be shaky at the beginning and then stop shaking. So okay. how would you graph it? That? But you need to select uh, the keyframes. Bam. And now let's see what this looks like. Cool. So now we all just add that on every bit. Ooh. Is there going to copy that? Yeah. You don't even need to copy the effect. You can just copy the adjustment layer. Uh-huh. And so then I paste you, it to here? To need there. it on top of the layers, yeah. And the last thing we want to add is color correction. It's just to make the colors look mm -hmm. like how you want it to look like. So for that, we will add another adjustment layer. Adjustment layer. And then add it on top. And now add an effect called looks. You go into edit. There is a bunch of different effects to use for color correction. Mm -hmm. But they've made so many presets here for color correction. So you can kind of like see what the clip looks like here mm -hmm. and then choose one that you like. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so yeah, press on that, press on check, and now it adds it on all of it. That looks great. Yeah, that is pretty much <laughs> the edit done. I'll just render it and I'll show you guys the finished result. Sweet. You wouldn't do Would you still be in love with me? In love with me? So we forgot to record the outro together. Comment down below what you thought of the edit. I personally think it came out really good, especially considering that was her first time using After Effects. Besides that, I just want to thank to all my patrons for all the support. And if you like this type of videos, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Talking to me, telling me I'm next